Hello everybody, Bill here at QA1 and today we're going to show you how to measure for a custom drive shaft with just a piece of paper, a tape measure, and a pen. Today we've got a scenario with this car that you may run into yourself. Uh, where this car got a different rear end housing in it when it got all the new suspension. And now because of that, the drive shaft that was in there is not really the right length. So the question is, how do you measure for a new drive shaft? Well, that's what we're gonna show you today. So let's get this thing up in the air and we'll uh, go through it. All right, well, if you wanna measure for your drive shaft, the first thing you're gonna need to do is print yourself off one of these. These are available on our website and they're also available, uh, if you call us up, we can email you one, whatever. But what it is, is it's, it's a drive shaft measurement sheet. And with all of this information that you fill out, we can come up with the right drive shaft for you. Now there are things on here like year make and model of your vehicle, engine, max engine speed, max speed of the car, uh, rear end drive ratio, tire size, things like that. And what we're trying to do is trying to get an idea an accurate idea of just how fast your drive shaft will spin in your car. Now for a street car or a you know, high performance street car or a you know, show cars and things, that might not be as important to you, but it's important to us. Where it's really important is for the drag racers who know exactly, you know, I'm gonna be doing 167 miles an hour in the quarter mile at 7,500 RPM with a 33 inch tire and blah, blah, blah. Those scenarios we wanna make sure that we, we're getting you covered and you're not gonna wind up with something that doesn't work for you. So let's get under the car and we're really gonna go through the act, just the actual measurements. And as I said earlier, all we really need is one of these guys. Um, important note, important note. The car needs to be sitting at ride height when you do this. If the suspension is hanging, your measurement's gonna be off because as the suspension hangs, the drive shaft pulls out or pushes into the transmission. So the car needs to be sitting on its suspension when you get these measurements. And we've got it on the four post lift, but you could do this on a set of jack stands or a set of uh, cradles that you put under the wheels, however you wanna do it. Just know that the, drive, the car has to be at ride height. And what we're gonna do, is since this car doesn't have a drive shaft in it, it makes things slightly easier. Uh, but what we're gonna do, Casey, can you see this? This is our greasy transmission, as you can see. Now there are two things. The slip yoke can bottom out right here on the seal. The slip yoke can also bottom out inside on the end of the output shaft. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna measure how far this is sticking out from the output shaft. And I got about five eighths of an inch. I'm gonna go over here to my deal. And I put my pen's over here where it should be. And if we go on here, that's measurement C. How far is the tail shaft sticking out of the, or I'm sorry, the output shaft sticking out of the tail shaft? Measurement C, I'm gonna put that right here, 0.625. Now the next measurement we need is this measurement B. Can you see that? And this is just a measurement from the end of the tail housing to the center of the U-joint in the rear. Okay, so I'm gonna take our tape measure and I'm gonna go figure out this Rubik's Cube of how to get this thing out of here. Okay, and then we're gonna go all the way back to here, 63.375. Now, with those two measurements, you can give us a call and you can say, these are my measurements how long does drive shaft need to be? And we can figure that out for you. Okay, so now you got your measurement from tail shaft to uh, the rear end pinion yoke. Uh, and what we need to know next is how many splines your output shaft has. And so what I do is I use like a pen and I find like, you know, the top one, I kind of set the 
pen in the groove, and then you just count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. 27 spline, and obviously this is a GM car. So we come in here, and wipe the stuff off on your other hand, and we know we gotta, this is gonna be a 27 spline, five and a half inch long. And if you have your old drive shaft, you can kind of get an idea of how long your old slip yoke was don't it doesn't have to be exactly that length because high quality like nice slip yokes like we use um, the measurements are slightly different than what you might see on your stock one but uh, it's important to know that okay well you don't need a seven inch long one or an, or an eight inch long one so you just want to be in the ballpark of what you had in this case 27 spline uh, 1.503 OD that would be a measurement of of here to here and uh, yeah in this case I don't need no SFI drive shafts just as good either way uh, and the center to center u-joint we don't have that because we don't have a, a drive shaft to measure so that's why we're using these two so now we've got all of our measurements we've got all of our information filled out I'm gonna call up the QA1 tech line Got her. Let's go put it in. This is the most fun part of the whole deal. Well, there you have it. As you can see, measuring for a custom drive shaft is really not that difficult. In fact, I'm pretty sure you probably have the tools in your kitchen junk drawer. Uh, if you do have any questions or uh, want to talk to us about these drive shafts or getting the measurements right, give us a call on the tech line, send us an email, get a hold of us on social media, you know, any of the normal ways. Uh, and otherwise, other than that, have a good one and go drive it.